Well, the chip giant NVIDIA reportedly hit by a cyber attack. The Telegraph saying the attack has taken parts of NVIDIA's business offline for the past two days. This comes as NBC reports President Biden has been presented with offensive cyber options against Russia. Cyber stocks helping to lift the Nasdaq higher on the week with names like Palo Alto, Cloudflare, CrowdStrike and Fortinet rising double digits over the last two sessions. Our next guest says cyber warfare between the two countries, U.S. and Russia, a real possibility as Russia could respond to sanctions on uh, the uh, SWIFT banking system uh, with an attack on SWIFT itself. Uh, joining us now, David Kennedy, trusted SEC CEO and a former NSA and Marine Corps hacker. David, welcome back. Good to have you with us. Yeah, thanks for having me. Really appreciate it. Well, we see this uh, this one um, attack, apparently, uh, against a, a technology company. What should companies be ready for? What types of companies are most at risk? And what about American consumers? What should they be looking out for? Yeah, as of right now, things start to seem, seem like they're heating up. You know, we saw initially during the invasion where uh, Ukraine got hit with the wiper, uh, what's called wiper malware, which was targeting government facilities. Just a few minutes ago, um, a lot of the government and uh, military websites for Russia were shut down and taken offline. Uh, and then we saw, obviously, with NVIDIA, um, there's something going on right now with uh, British Airways where they're experiencing massive outages. Again, not sure if it's cyber related, but things definitely seem to be heating up. And I can tell you, I'm continuously on calls with large organizations all across the United States. And, you know, there is a, a very big sense of fear right now um, of retaliation from Russia. Uh, specifically in the financial sector and our critical infrastructure sector is the, the two main areas that they're most concerned with at the moment. Critical infrastructure being energy, water treatment facilities, you know, how we run you know, our day to day lives. And then the financial sector, obviously, the, the backbone of our economy. Uh, those are the main areas of concern right now that most folks are, are, are looking very closely at to see what Russia does next. Did I hear you say at the top of your answer there that there are reports that that Russian military and government uh, websites have been uh, crashed? That's correct. Uh, just as about 10 minutes ago, a number of websites uh, on the, the Russian side of the house, uh, military websites, government websites, all uh, non-responsive, as in they're, they're currently not operational or working. Again, you know, it could be Russia taking them offline to reduce their footprints on the Internet. It could be uh, attacks being launched directly against uh, Russia itself from various hacker groups or the United States or its allies. Uh, things seem to be unfolding a little bit differently right now uh, and it seems to be a pretty heated moment. What what is the is the danger that that cyber warfare escalates? We're familiar, sadly, with seeing escalations in conventional warfare. We don't really know, do we, what an escalating cyber war would look like or do we? You know, what's what's really interesting is is when you look at, at previous conflicts that we've had, cyber really hasn't played a substantially major role. No. But when you have a country like Russia, which is in a pure competitive uh, state when it comes to, you know, on the same level as, as the United States, on the same level as Israel, as our Western allies, as China, um, you know, it's, it's really an uncertain area right now because there's nothing that's been defined as cyber warfare. So when you start looking at what we're doing from a sanctions perspective, there, there's been talk of booting, you know, potentially booting them off of the SWIFT network, which is, you know, how financial tra transactions occur, you know, on the global economy scale. Uh, you know, retaliation is a very big thing. And so when you look at the implications of that, we've seen Russia target the energy grid in Ukraine in 2015, 2016. They launched a massive attack uh, for ransomware called NotPetya um, that actually caused over $100 million in damage to FedEx and a number of other companies in literally just mm -hmm. a few minutes. So, you know, the damage component of this is really bad. And, you know, they have the ability to target our critical infrastructure. They've been targeting it for years. There's been advisories from the FBI about how they're booting them out of our infrastructure um, so it, it's the preparedness aspect of Russia, the methodical nature of Russia that is the most concerning, that they're already in our infrastructure right. just waiting for the notice to escalate and then target the United States. And you call them ominously a peer as far as this uh, kind of warfare is concerned. David Unfortunately, Kennedy, yes. David Kennedy, thank you very much. Thank you.